body. Yesterday we experienced something interesting. We went out in the neighborhood. And I'd like to tell you that there's even another joy waiting for you when you go outside and reach out with the gospel. We went, there were three of us, and we experienced something tremendous going into first a visitation. We visited Sister Amira's house. Thank God for her. She received us, made us coffee and everything. And right as soon as we entered there, five minutes later, there was a couple Jehovah Witnesses who came at the door. She said, I usually turn off the door and tell them to leave. We said, no, this time, because there are three of us here, welcome. So they came in and we had a conversation after which the man and the lady, the man told the lady, let's leave right now. Because he saw that the lady was interested in my testimony and how I got changed suddenly and how this big sinner was transformed. And this is not about religion. Religion never saves anybody. We're giving verses. The guy stood up there. He said, we have to leave. I said, why? He said, no, we have to go. And he dragged her and ran away. So it was a timed visitation because God sent us for Lorraine and Chris, Jehovah Witnesses, who were going door to door. And it actually told us that if they are doing it, how much more should we be doing it? We always say they are doing it, but it's to put us to shame that God said, I entrusted you to, to do it. And then uh, we looked at one another and said, where are we going after this? And literally we said, we don't know because we did not plan this outing and God didn't want us to know. And we did apply what was said in Hebrews chapter eight, verse uh, chapter 11, verse eight, where it says, and Abraham, went when God told him to go, not knowing where he's going to go. Imagine Abraham telling God, where are you sending me? God said, go. And Abraham said, go where? God says, I'm not telling you. And imagine Abraham saying, I'm not going until you tell me. Well, if that's the case, then Abraham would have never went. But Abraham went not knowing where he was going. That's exactly what happened to us yesterday. And the Lord led us from one place to another. I cannot tell you how many tracks we distributed, how many people we encountered. I cannot even tell you how many wonderful encounters we had. Door to door, we knocked at the door of 40 apartments in one apartment complex. Later on, we found out that they have about 580 apartments. Do you realize how many weeks that's going to take us? And in every apartment, out of the 40, there was about maybe, what, what would you say, Brother Josh, about 10, 15, 20 that opened the doors. And we had a conversation with them. Now, we didn't want to push our luck because many of these were ladies there. We didn't want to say, can we come inside? So we didn't want to venture. But at the same time, there was receptivity. There was... There was openness. They were taking the tracks. They were asking questions. One of them said, I'm searching for God. I don't know. I'm not sure, etc." And we realized when we got all three of us convicted that we need to go out, folks. If the Lord says go, he means go. He didn't say, you know what, when you feel like it, you know, when it's convenient for you, when you feel it's about time, he said, go. And we say, Lord, where? He said, that's not your business. Go. I'll show you where to go. We came back, all three of us praising the Lord, convicted, saying, we have to do this more often. We have to go. There is a world around us that is perishing, and we have the truth. How can we sit between four walls and say, we got it made? We need to share, and we need to go out. May the Lord help us. Enough of that, but I think enough said to me, Brother Ed, Brother Josh, who went out yesterday, and we said, we're convicted that we need to go. I invite you. Now, we decided, now, I don't know how many Saturdays in a row we're going to do this, but we decided next Saturday we're going to do the same thing. 10 o'clock, we're meeting here. If you feel like you want to go with us, I invite you to be here a few minutes before 10 o'clock. Mean business and be on time. And that's another story I want to...